Henry Ward Beecher was quoted as saying, no man is more cheated than the selfish man. I would have to disagree with this statement. I'm going to explain to you how being selfish is not a bad thing and something you should consider doing. I've lived a very self-denying life myself. I do not regret in any way any of the sacrifices I have made, but I do wish that I had managed to be more selfish and more self-seeking. Being selfish has many advantages, including becoming a better person. Better people are more able to help others. Um, staying healthy by focusing on your own needs and having better relationships with others. Bob Rossin is an author who wrote a book called Grounded. He is quoted as saying, when you take care of yourself first, you show up as a healthy, grounded person in life. If you are more self-serving, you can become a stronger person. Um, what he was trying to say is that stronger people are more capable of helping others and they're more capable of helping others for longer amounts of time because they themselves are able to keep going. Let me explain a little more detail um, how being selfish not only beneficial to you, but to beneficial to those people that you love and care about. If you're looking for a partner to fill your emotional needs, your relationship is vulnerable. Um, according to Bob Rossin, the best relationships happen when two adults show up and enjoy each other. Basically, he is saying that you have to be a whole person on your own, with or without your partner. You have to know that you are complete, regardless of whether you're with someone or not. That way, you're avoiding any resentment that can grow between you and your partner when you are expecting them to hand you your happiness or they're expecting you to hand them their happiness. You have to know that you're happy regardless. Um, according to the information on the Vantage Point website, which is a trauma healing website, being selfish can be the ultimate difference that allows you to be a happier version of yourself. If you have a well-developed sense of who you are, what you enjoy, and the ability to communicate with others, you'll be a happier person. This statement was made by a psychology professor, Melissa Duder. It's basically it's your job to take care of yourself. No one is going to take care of you the way you can take care of you. We do take care of each other. We, we take care of others, they take care of us. But ultimately, every day, we are the ones that know what our needs are and whether or not they have been met. Um, you have to make sure that you're meeting your own needs before you attempt to meet someone else's. It's always good to help others. Being selfish doesn't mean that you don't help others. It means that you take care of yourself and then other people in that particular order. How long will you be able to help someone if you don't ever stop to take care of your own needs? Eventually, you'll run out of energy. Eventually, you'll be consumed by your own needs that aren't being met, and you'll be no use to anyone else. Remember that being selfish helps create you to be a well-rounded person. It will help you create healthy relationships, not just with your partner, but with your children and your parents and your siblings and everyone around you because you're, you're entering as a complete and whole person because your own needs have been met. You're not coming into it with issues of your own. So you're able to fully and completely concentrate on helping them because you've already taken care of yourself. And overall, it helps to make you a complete and happier person. And by being a happy person, this means in your job, it means at home, it means in your, in your church, it means when you're out, um, it means when you are alone, that you are complete, um, completely whole and rounded. Steve Maraboli um, has a quote that I think uh, applies to this entire conversation and he says that the most powerful relationship you will ever have in your entire life is the relationship that you have with yourself. That will always be the basis 
of how the rest of your life goes. Thank you.